I'm tired. I'm not even. <laughs> but you look so pretty, like, and don't mention anything. I'm not. Welcome to my life adventures. I'm the one and only Monica the Spirit Queen. I'm a professional psychic medium and a paranormal investigator. My crew and I lurk in the shadows at night, hunting spirits and demons. I do readings, break black magic spells, travel, expose fake psychics, and have clients from around the world. I'm no nonsense when it comes to respect and honesty. I have a crazy busy life, but I love it. My family keeps me going with their love and support. I will never give up, no matter what demons I have to face. Hey guys, welcome back to Monica the Spirit Queen. Before we move any further, subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification button, and hit that like button. I wanna see a bunch of likes, at least, what, 10,000 in this video? Cause I know I'm gonna have like a lot of views. But I wanted to talk to you guys about Incubus and Succubus. I know I have a couple other videos very similar to that, but I wanted to go a little bit in details and a little bit more in depth with it because of the fact that I have been receiving so many emails. Again, Again, emails without phone numbers I mean common sense when you guys want somebody to call you back and you want their help you have to put in your phone number I don't do email chat I don't do PayPal and I definitely don't do Western Union or whatever someone else tried to send me the other day I don't play those games with that said let's go and dive into the video incubus and succubus you guys heard that right incubus and succubus I know a lot of you guys have been very curious about it very very weird emails I've been getting especially from guys like from men grown men have been messaging me or emailing me number one again without a phone number but what's even weirder is they're messaging me saying that they want an incubus so I'm gonna tell you guys the difference between an incubus and a succubus an incubus is a male demon who has sex or I should say rape females they could do it to males too but I'm just not really understanding what you guys want you guys are the viewers you guys contact me for help which I'm very very happy to help you but why am I getting emails from men grown adults asking me to help them conjure up a demonic entity a male incubus to have sex with them really 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 bad I mean some of these emails I've been getting lately is off the charts and I'm thinking maybe one or two emails I'm gonna post it after this video just so you guys could see the type of emails I've been getting and to be honest with you you can't make this shit up even if if you wanted to it's more like a head scratcher what the hell is going on again the difference is an incubus is a male demonic entity that has sex with females a succubus is a female demonic entity that has sex with males so maybe you guys are confused and you want to have sex with a demon I don't know why you would but let's say hypothetically you guys want to have sex with a human I mean a human a demon but yet you're asking for an incubus instead of a succubus males men gentlemen out there guys I don't know I don't know why you guys want to have sex with an incubus but that's your fucking preference so again going back to the incubus and succubus one more time I have to say this multiple times because maybe you guys don't really understand the difference maybe I wasn't clear enough maybe you guys just don't understand the difference so one more time incubus is a male demon a succubus is a female demon and no they're not gens a lot of people confuse them with gens oh there's a gen that is sexually attacking me gens are completely different than an incubus and a succubus so do your homework before you send me weird emails also I'm gonna get you get a little bit of details of what happens when you want to conjure up not you but you want me to conjure up or anybody conjure up a demonic entity to have sex with you in the beginning it could feel like it's fun and roses and you guys are having fun you're having a good time because you're desperate enough to want to have sex with somebody and maybe you feel like you're not good enough for a human to have sex with you so you want to experience it with a demonic entity which if that's the case then maybe a little bit of therapy counseling sessions one-on-one -on -one. you and a counselor get a therapist it can help you out with with those issues that you have what you guys don't understand is the dangers of asking what you want to get done and then not taking the responsibility and then you're gonna contact me back and tell me to please get this demon off of me it's attacking me demonic entities are not there to please you they have an agenda to hurt you they have an agenda to use you so if you think that you are having sex with a demonic entity and it's all fun and games now give it a little bit just a little bit 
maybe in a couple of weeks to a couple of months. I'm saying couple of months is stretching it out. Most of the time it's within the first couple of days to the first couple of weeks. They start getting obsessed with you. They start getting controlling of you. The reason why they're there is because they don't want to please you and leave it to that. They are there because they want to collect your soul. I don't give a shit what other fake psychic medium out there tells you otherwise. This is what it is. Monica doesn't have a filter. I don't lie about anything. You guys already know. I am no nonsense. I don't censor anything anything I tell you guys exactly what it is having sex with a demonic entity is going to get them to be obsessed with you in a very negative way not because you're good looking okay they don't give a fuck about looks you could be the ugliest person on this planet or the prettiest good looking person on this planet they don't give a shit pussy is a pussy and a dick is a dick and I'm straightforward saying it if you want to have sex with the demonic entity, get prepared for the consequences of what happens afterwards. After a while, it's not going to be sex anymore. It's going to be taking advantage. It's going to be sexual assault. It's going to be considered rape. And I'm not fucking joking. They're going to keep coming back, keep coming back. And if you don't give any ass to them, guess what? You're fucked. They're going to ruin you. They're going to hurt you. They're going to go after those who you associate with. They're going to go after your loved ones. They're going to go after your family, your kids, your job, your finances, your home. They're they're going to attack every aspect in your life because you don't want to have sex with them anymore. So stop being brainless. I don't understand how many fucking times I have to tell people it's not cool that you want to a demon to have sex with I mean are you that ugly are you that insane are you that insecure of yourself that you can't find a human being to have sex with there's sex toys there's dildos there's there's vibrators you got your fucking hands work with them if you can't have sex with a human being I mean it's your preference if you want to have sex with a demon you want me to conjure up an incubus or a succubus you guys better know the difference okay I don't want a female contacting me telling me I want a dick inside me so conjure up a succubus I'm sorry dude succubus doesn't have a dick it has a pussy and I don't want a guy contact me saying I want to fuck a bitch I want a pussy demon a demon that has a pussy so conjure up an incubus incubus is a male that has a dick and balls so know what you're talking about before you guys email me now hopefully I made this very clear to you guys a difference between an incubus and a succubus my prices are the prices that I'm charging because it's number one, it's very dangerous for me to conjure up somebody like that for you as well. So I put my own life at risk. And number two, I don't work for free. So like I said, do not contact me unless you have the money for the payment. I don't give a fuck what your excuse is. But you know what? If you want me to risk my life, put my own life in jeopardy to help you, then you need to fucking pay up. Monica doesn't work for free. Nobody works for free. Unless you go to a fucking fake psychic and then they try to fuck you over. And last but not not least do not email me or send me any messages or even comment below unless you want to take your last fucking breath do not contact me asking me to be your succubus because I'm gonna show you a fucking succubus in the meantime you better make funeral arrangements or have your family make funeral arrangements and this is not a threat it's a fucking promise I'm pretty sure my demons will get to you guys before anybody so don't fucking be perverted on my channel don't be stupid don't fucking comment dumb shit because not only will you be reported but my demons will hunt you down and find you. I am tired of brainless, stupid people. I'm tired of disrespectful people. The only way you're going to get my help is by being respectful, being truthful and honest with me with what's going on with you so I can help you and having your fucking payments to show appreciation of my help on time. Without that, do not contact me. I am fucking not playing games with you guys. I don't give a fuck what excuse you have in your life. That's your problem, not mine. So if you want me to help you, you know what to do. Now, going back to the incubus and succubus part, if you're gonna do it, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. Make sure you have between three to $5,000 for me to conjure up an incubus or a succubus to fuck you. Again, I'm not here to fucking play games. I am a psychic medium. I don't use the fake bullshit tarot cards. I don't have a fake crystal globe that doesn't fucking exist. I do everything naturally. So unless you're serious about getting my fucking help, go to a fake psychic. Whether you want a reading, whether you have an attachment, 
whether you feel like somebody has black magic spells on you or your family you don't know what to do your finances are going down your relationship is going down unless you are serious go to a fake psychic I'm sure there's so many fake ones on YouTube that would love to collect your money and drown you in your sorrow that's what they do giving you guys false information misleading information you guys are the same type of people when you watch those and you go to the fake ones you're the same ones that come to me afterwards and ask for my help which I don't mind that's what I'm here for I would love to help you guys out you guys need to go to monicaspiritqueen.com especially if you're the one that went to a fake psychic got lied to got a fake reading they took your money and now you don't know what to do because they made your life even worse I take serious inquiries only I go to monicaspiritqueen.com I don't accept phone calls without appointments make sure you leave your phone number as well with your name not your profile name your legal actual name that you have and last but not least make sure you answer my phone call if you don't answer I call one time maybe twice the most you don't answer my phone call again it's common sense when you're leaving an email to somebody to call you that means you're expecting that person's phone call obviously you're not gonna recognize my phone number it's my business number you're not gonna recognize it because I don't put it out there I put my email and my website out there that's how people contact me because I am busy I don't do email chat with that said go to monicaspiritqueen.com and I don't know how much I have to stress this out leave your fucking phone number so I can call you directly and make sure you answer my phone call you're not gonna recognize my number common fucking sense answer if it's somebody else if it's a telemarketer your fingers are not gonna fall off if you just hang up okay so grow up act like adults and get the help that you need I love you guys I'll see you next time take care